Welcome to a tuition video uh, concerning setting program options in PVSOL 2017. This is also applicable to PVSOL Premium 2017. So we're going to look at some of the menu options to fine-tune your program. Uh, you can access the options uh, from the main menu, menu and the first uh, option we'll look at is categorized as user data. Uh, here the data will ultimately appear in the final uh, project presentation report. So you put uh, your own uh, details in, you, you know, whoever the designer is, uh, and that can include a logo of the company. Um, once these have been set in, you can uh, effectively set as a default in the program, and that means it will save you time in the future, uh, so you won't have to keep filling those boxes in. You can also change where the projects are normally saved on your hard drive, and indeed the units, uh, SI units, or uh, US Imperial units. The currency uh, symbols shown in your program are, are actually uh, taken from your Windows settings. The other settings are typically left ticked uh, as default. Reset options are present. Uh, be careful using these because uh, you could lose your, your user uh, settings, um, but they are useful for uh, troubleshooting uh, if there are problems with the program. There are further options indicated uh, as on screen here. Uh, there's a couple of screens we're going to look at. The first being the AC mains, the electrical mains, uh, and uh, here we can set uh, you know, the voltage and, and phase of, of the electricity, uh, and also if there's any restriction on the uh, the output from the from the system. Uh, notice also CO2 settings that is uh, default to a German setting and so for whatever country you're in you would uh, adjust this for example in the UK you would possibly expect uh, near 500 uh, grams a kilowatt hour. Moving on we see that we uh, can opt in to include um, uh, detailed shading uh, which will increase the accuracy, will slow the, the calculation down uh, as well, so it is optional, uh, as is the minute value setting, which would increase the number of calculations by 60 compared to the hourly setting. We can also uh, optionally set the uh, diffuse and direct radiation values. Uh, again, we'll, we'll increase the amount of results and, and, and slow calculation down, but they, they are possible uh, to uh, optionally select either pod module area or, or for the project uh, as a whole. The albedo or reflectance can be set either for the whole year or individually. For example, if you have um, snow in a couple of months of the year, you could adjust particular years uh, uh, depending on whatever is in front of the inclined modules. We've also got losses due to soiling, that, that could be dust buildup uh, that occurs through the uh, year and would affect the, the uh, ultimate yield. We've got configuration limits which uh, is related to uh, inverter choices and configuration. Um, the limits can be uh, adjusted or set to allow the program uh, to determine uh, those, those limits for you. And there are further adjustments uh, available for the voltage and current limits uh, as well. They're default to uh, zero tolerance. Uh, unbalanced load and indeed the maximum DC voltage are options in, uh, and requirements in some countries and can be um, optionally uh, adjusted and, and the values uh, accordingly uh, set. On to uh, the uh, way the configurations are laid out, uh, the number per page, and depending on what uh, device you're using, the size of the screen possibly, 
and also whether you are presented the tolerance, the yellow colored options is a choice and also how the uh, maximum PowerPoint trackers are uh, set and, and presented to you uh, either to maximize uh, the full use or as evenly as possible. Notice you can only have two models of inverter uh, per uh, configuration. In the presentation uh, options uh, you can uh, elect to, to have them all in or not hardly any or, or key sections such as the finance or possibly the, the detailed drawings can be uh, omitted. Uh, you can effectively also adjust the presentation in Microsoft Word, although it's arguably much quicker to do it uh, here in this uh, set of um, options. And once they're set, you can also adjust the program language, uh, the language used in the uh, presentation which would be uh, potentially different to the program language. Uh, you can see there's quite a, quite a, a choice of languages. Uh, if you don't make the selection, then, it, then the, the, the language will be the same as the a language you've selected uh, on screen to, to be shown. You have further choices of uh, resolution of the pictures and the uh, landscape or portrait format of screenshots in your report as well. And finally, the simulation results uh, option. Uh, if you opt into some of these, it will uh, provide you more results, uh, but would increase the project uh, file size. And uh, you, you, you can choose uh, however to do that. And in regards exporting results to Excel, you have some uh, options on the defaults of the the units of energy temperature and the uh, the separator uh, used between the values. So thank you for listening. Uh, if you have further questions, please visit the uh, forum, online forum. And uh, of course, uh, you can send in questions by email. Uh, there's a screen coming up uh, with the uh, website and uh, therefore contact details through that through that and of course uh, please, please feel free to download the uh, program uh, for a trial version many thanks bye bye